So BYD, the Chinese car company that you probably never even heard of until last year, it actually overtook Tesla as the world's biggest seller of electric cars in the last quarter of 2023. It sold over half a million EVs, uh, and in the whole of the year, the company actually sold 3 million vehicles, that was including hybrids. As far as EVs were concerned, they sold 1.6 million electric cars, which is just short of all Tesla's record of 1.8 million. But today, I'm not really talking about BYD, I'm talking about its luxury sub-brand, Yangwang. Yes, that is its name. I know you're probably thinking, big what's it, yay, yay, but... I mean, you can think of it in those terms if you want. It probably does kind of work. But the term actually means to look up. So it's an aspirational brand. So it's like Lexus is to Toyota and Genesis is to Hyundai. But actually, I'm not really even talking about the brand. I'm talking about its two first new cars that are coming out. The first one is an SUV, the U8, and there's a super sports car, the U9. Now, they look all right. But it's the features that are bonkers because they, they can do this. Oh, you are going to want to know about these cars because that's just one of the things they can do. And I'm going to tell you everything about them right after this. A brown car guy. Brown car guy. Right, so let's tackle the BYD Yang Wang U8 first. It's the brand's first uh, offering. It's the first car that come out under that brand name. And of course it is a luxury SUV. Uh, I mean, that's just the automotive world now so that we live in. So it's like a rival to the Lamborghini Urus, uh, the Bentley Bentayga, the Ferrari Pura Sangway. Um, oh yeah, I really do mean those cars because, well, wait till I tell you about the performance figures of this thing and you'll see why I mention it amongst those cars. This is a five-seater. It is actually longer than the Mercedes G-Wagon at over five meters long and two meters wide and adopts the design language of TimeGate, which apparently is a hallmark of the Yang Wang brand, even though it's a new brand and this is its first car. Let's be honest, I got, it looks a lot like a Land Rover Defender. And uh, listen, come close, because I go whisper this. I think it actually looks better. <laughs> I know we were talking about Chinese cars, Chinese companies following or copying other designs, but I've got to say, in this particular case, I think this one actually does look better. So, and check out the interior. That's definitely better. I mean, it's pretty cool, right? But it's not quite as cool as the other features on this thing. Right, so let's uh, so get this. This thing has very clever suspension that allows it to bunny hop. Why? So, for example, if you get stuck in mud or sand, that could help get you out. But that's not all. The trick suspension also means that this car can do something that the Citroen DS did famously way back in the 1950s. It can drive on just three wheels. Yep. But I'm still not done. Along with the Voodoo suspension, the, it has independent motors for each wheel because it's got four-wheel drive, four motors. So yes, of course, that has four-wheel drive. But by having these independent wheels, you can rotate the wheels independently. So if you rotate the wheels on one side in one direction and the other side, the wheels in the other direction, it can do what is known as a tank turn. Yep, it basically pivots around its center axis and it just, it just turns around. So like with a tank, they call it a tank turn because if you turn the tracks of the tank the opposite direction, the tank will just swivel around uh, and pivot around its axis and do the same sort of thing. So it can do that. And I'm not finished yet uh, in terms of the features because, uh, and before I get onto the final extraordinary feature that this thing has, um, I want to tell you first of all that it weighs three and a half tons. Uh, yes, it's got electric batteries, so that makes it heavy, but also it has a two liter turbo combustion engine aboard as well, um, which is there basically to charge the batteries. So in total, it gives you a 620 mile range. It's a range extender car, so it's handy. But the drive itself comes from the electric power, which, is, which equates to about 1,184 uh, brake horsepower and 1,280 newton meters of torque. And the instant acceleration means that despite its mass, it'll go from zero to 62 miles per hour in just 3.6 seconds. Now, I wanted to tell you all of that and emphasize its weight because there's one more extraordinary feature on this thing that uh, I want to share with you. 
So here in the UK, we've had uh, weeks, perhaps even months of incessant non-stop rain. And because of that, we've had some pretty terrible flooding as well. Most off-road uh, off makers uh, go on about wading ability, etc., etc. Most of them can, you know, wade to an extent in, in flood water. This thing will also do that. The suspension goes up and down by 150 millimeters, but it will also go one step further thanks to its IP68 rated waterproof E4 platform and body sealing technology. It all means that the U8 will actually float on the water. When the emergency floating mode is activated, the combustion engine, if it's running, will immediately shut down. The suspension is raised to the maximum level. The windows are automatically closed. The AC is switched to internal circulation, so it's not sucking in any air, uh, water, I should say, from outside. And the sunroof is open in case you need to do make an emergency exit, in case the worst does happen. The vehicle will even display the water depth and the attitude on the central screen inside the car. And it can do this, it can float for about half an hour. Not only that, it can even move forward at, it's very slow, it's about two miles per hour, but it can do that and it can do a tank turn in the water. So basically, if you've gone into a bit of flooded water and you realize it's deeper than you expected and you think, oh, it's car is floating and you need to get back out again, you can turn it around and then just hopefully then drive back out again eventually. The only thing is that after using the emergency floating mode activation, and they do stress that it's an emergency device. It's not just because, oh, I fancy getting across this river or whatever. So it's only in an emergency that you use it. But if you do use it, then the car needs to be taken back to the dealer for a checkup. Now the UA is already uh, available on sale in China and at a price of equivalence of around $150,000, which frankly, I've got to be honest, makes it a bit of a bargain with all that technology and that speed and that performance. That's incredible. Now let's move on to its sporty newer sister. Now this is the Yangwang U9 Super Sports Car. This is expected to go on sale in the first half of this year, 2024, again in China, and for about the same money as its big brother. That's about $150,000. Now that's actually astonishing when you think that other two-second cars, and yeah, I mean, this thing is a two-second car. It's got 1,084 brake horsepower, and it will accelerate from rest to 62 miles per hour in two seconds. So when you look at other cars, like the Pininfarina Batista, the Remac Navara, the Lotus Sevilla, I mean, they'll all do two seconds, but they'll also cost you $2 million around, pretty much. Even the Tesla Roadster, which was, should do less than two seconds, zero to 60, that will be over $200,000 when it eventually goes on sale. So all of that makes the U9 something of a bargain, quite frankly. And like the U8, it also has the independent motors for each wheel. So the U9 also has the ability to perform that 360 degree tank turn to give it extra maneuverability, could be useful. And it can drive on three wheels and is capable of bunny hopping. Although while the three wheel thing actually could be quite useful, say if you have a blowout or something like that, or a flat tire, I'm not sure how the bunny hop actually helps the U9 except that it might give it a dramatic start from the lights. If you literally want to take off from the lights, you can kind of jump away before you launch into acceleration. Plus it can dance. Oh yeah. I mean, it doesn't do the door open thing that the Tesla does, the Tesla Model X, I think it is, it does. Or at least I don't think it does, but it does bounce up on the suspension like it's boogieing down at the disco. This is all part of the BYD Dysus, D-I-S-U-S system that both of these cars have. BYD's first self-developed intelligent body control system. So there you are. The Chinese aren't coming. They aren't on their way. They are here. And they're already ahead, it seems, when you look at the technology and the features that these two cars have. I mean, let's be honest, whether you're an EV or hybrid fan or not, I don't think really matters because these cars are interesting and they're fun. And uh, I really hope that they arrive in the UK market soon because it'd be pretty cool to see them and also maybe even have a go at them. The thing about the EV cars and modern cars, which I think that they've kind of cottoned onto with these two, where other manufacturers still haven't quite grasped this idea, is that they're clean slate cars. They, you can do anything with them now in terms of the design, in terms of the technology, in terms of the features. You know, you can push the limits. And I think what these two cars are doing are, is actually showing us some of that. So we could be back to that era when um, innovation, new ideas, and just new ways of doing things enters back into the automotive arena. So exciting times ahead. Let me know what you think about these cars in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next video.
hope you enjoyed that video if you did please please hit the like button and share this video as well if you can and while you're at it check out these guys who also sponsor my content i am deeply grateful to them because it helps me to buy new equipment put fuel in the cars and yes buy a cup of coffee you can do the same just go here or right here on youtube just hit these three little dots down here and click on thanks make sure you're signed in first my content is free but this is how you can help me keep it that way. I may even send you a gift. Oh, by the way, watch this next.